In an era dominated by forced induction, hybrid horsepower, and rapid electric innovation, the automotive world got its first look at something very different. Nilu 27, a tiny new startup, pulled the wraps off its first car, the Nilu, a two-seat hypercar packing a 6.5-liter naturally aspirated V12 and a seven-speed manual transmission. At a time when nearly every competitor is chasing higher output with turbos, electric motors, and automated gearboxes, the Nilu goes old school. Its 1,070 horsepower and 634 pound-feet of torque come with no turbochargers, superchargers, hybrid boost, or driving modes, only three pedals, clutch, brake, gas, and a focus on raw driving thrill. Even its interior defies modern trends. The only screen is a tiny rear-view camera display, and the cockpit features an open-gate gear lever and cold-machined switches instead of touchscreen menus. In short, the Nilu sticks to old-school internal combustion values, while much of the industry rushes toward hybridization. Behind this car is Sasha Selipanov, a 20-year veteran of high-end automotive design. Selipanov earned his degree from the Art Center College of Design and spent more than a decade within the Volkswagen Group, working on projects for Audi, Bugatti, Lamborghini, and others. His resume includes exterior design credits on the Lamborghini Huracan and the Bugatti Chiron, and he later served as head of design at Koenigsegg, shaping cars like the Gemera and CC8050. By 2024, he had left corporate life to found Nilu27 with his wife, Inna, who now serves as COO. The name Nilu is deeply personal, combining the names of their daughters, Nika and Lucia, while the 27 honors Selipanov's childhood hero, Gilles Villeneuve's Formula One racing number. The very first spark for the car dates back to 2007, when a young Selipanov saw a photograph of Villeneuve power sliding an F1 car, a moment that inspired him to one day build a hypercar on his own terms. Decades later, after years of sketching and anticipation, he finally designed that car from the ground up. Selipanov describes unveiling the Nilu as the culmination of years of overthinking and overanalyzing, and the pure realization of a long-held dream. Under the skin lies the Nilu's greatest thrill, its engine and powertrain. Developed with Hartley Engines of New Zealand, the bespoke 6.5-liter V12 was designed specifically for this car. It uses an 80-degree hot V configuration, routing the exhaust outlets upward into a dramatic 12 into 1 Inconel exhaust manifold that emerges through the top of the engine. The result is a thunderous, sculptural snake pit exhaust that dominates the rear view. The engine features 12 individual throttle bodies, one per cylinder, for instantaneous response, and a short stroke design inspired by late 1980s Formula One engines. There are no turbochargers or hybrid systems, just pure natural aspiration. At full song, the engine produces 1,070 horsepower at 11,000 RPM and 860 Newton meters of torque at 7,000 RPM. The red line sits above 11,000 RPM, with conservative limits set for reliability. Power is sent exclusively to the rear wheels through a bespoke 7-speed CIMA manual gearbox. With a claimed dry weight of around 1,200 kilograms, Performance figures are staggering, with a 0 to 60 miles per hour time under 3 seconds and a top speed approaching 250 miles per hour. Nilu 27 describes the driving experience as raw and barely controllable at the limit, prioritizing sound, sensation, and driver involvement above all else. The Nilu's exterior design is as striking as its philosophy. Its clean, lean body is sculpted around functional forms, with observers noting hints of 1960s Italian racers and Bauhaus minimalism in its curves. The front end sits extremely low, with two giant scoops at the nose and broad intakes along the flanks that recall vintage Ferrari GT cars. From the side, the long, tapering profile has drawn comparisons to the Porsche 917. The rear narrows dramatically, revealing massive diffuser tunnels and a fully exposed engine bay, the V12 sits openly beneath a sculpted venting spine, its custom-built 12 into one exhaust snake pit clearly visible. 
Structurally, the car is built around a carbon fiber monocoque with aluminum tubular subframes. All four corners use pushrod-operated double wishbone suspension and massive Brembo carbon ceramic brakes. Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires are mounted on lightweight forged wheels. Every exterior element is unapologetically performance-driven, with minimal ornamentation and even the traditional rearview mirror replaced by a simple camera image. Inside, the cockpit continues the analog theme. There is no dashboard full of electronics or digital excess. Instead, drivers face a small diameter, 1990s-style Formula One steering wheel with no buttons, paired with a floating, bridge-like panel of analog gauges. Between the seats sits a gated shifter for the seven-speed manual gearbox, machined toggle switches, and a real metal ignition key. There are no creature comforts to distract the driver, and the only screen is the discreet rear-view camera display. The interior emphasizes tight packaging, wide side bolsters, and fixed, sunken seats for safety and rigidity, while gullwing doors and relatively low sills make entry easier than in most hypercars. The Nilu was built to be an analog machine, with every interface mechanical and every feedback direct. There are no computers, no battery, no traction control, no driving modes, and no audio system. The car exists purely to engage the senses. Production will be extremely limited. Only 15 initial examples will be built, each hand assembled by Aria Group in Irvine, California. Beyond those, the company plans a street legal run capped at 54 cars, along with four one-off show variants to satisfy regulatory requirements. The rollout was deliberately exclusive beginning with a private preview in Los Angeles on August 8, 2024, followed by the public debut at Pebble Beach on August 15. The car later appeared on the Concourse Concept Car Lawn on August 18, placing it among some of the world's most revered classics. The strategy focused on enthusiast credibility rather than mainstream exposure. No official price has been announced, though seven-figure pricing is widely expected. The car is not fully street legal out of the box, with plans to register it under special display or limited use regulations. Future production may shift to Europe as the company scales. By late 2025, Nilu 27 had outlined appearances at major concourse and automotive events, and the car had already entered pop culture through inclusion in a popular racing video game. So far, the Nilu's achievements are not about lap records or production numbers, but about making a statement. Journalists have described it as an anti-technology hypercar, praising its refusal to chase trends. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.